सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सूरज के क्लासेस टुडे व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू यू माइट हैव ऑलरेडी रेड इन आर माय टाइटल दैट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ सेशन ऑन हाउ दिस लाइट्स इन योर होम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी मीटर वर्क वर्क ओके और व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस लाइट सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव वीडियो फॉर यू अगेन अगेन वेलकम टू सूरज के क्लासेस सूरज के क्लासेस ओके सो आई वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट थिंग दैट योर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी मीटर हाउ दैट लुक्स सो राइट नाउ ऑन योर स्क्रीन द थिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट दैट यू आर वॉचिंग दैट इज नथिंग बट योर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी मीटर ऑफ योर होम right so many of you or every one of you have has seen this meter at your home installed outside of your house so this is what it looks like this is you know standard electricity meter used in our home okay you do not have to get confused with these digits because it may happen that these digits might be in digital form now in meter so that depends but the basic functioning of the meter the basic meaning of these lights would remain same of every meter so one by one we would discuss over all these so now let's take there are four different lights okay so along with these lights i would also explain you what this you know connection diagram is showing what is the meaning of this and what is the meaning of this isi okay static energy meter what is the meaning of this static so everything you are going to have in this session just don't skip this video you have to watch it you know full video you have to watch so first the light of phage so let me explain you what is the meaning of phase so whenever your electricity meter is connected there are two types of meters one is single phase one is three phase okay so whenever the phage is coming into your home so let's uh, see a basic diagram this is a ac source okay or maybe your you know electricity company from where you are getting the power so this is your electricity company i'm drawing it by a source ac source and this is your home this is your home through which you are getting a power okay power or electricity so this is into the form of single phase only in our home we are using the single phase power okay three phase power that is for industrial use industrial there are three different phases the connection would be different there are three different wires one neutral three phase four wire system is installed at industry that is a different thing you don't have to get into that you just need to concentrate here this is your home and you are getting the single phase power so there is a single line coming where you have the 230 volt coming at your home okay so this is your single phase power that is why this phase light would blink this indicates that you are getting the power when this led is on that means power is coming at your home okay now let's uh, now let's move on to the second light that is earth okay earth what is the meaning of this earth you very well know in our previous video as well i explained you what is the meaning of these three terminals whenever you are connecting any electricity appliances so ultimately it is going to get connected with these three this is this one is phase this one is neutral and this one is earth okay so you are ultimately ga ga getting connected to these three earth phase and neutral so what is the meaning of this phase this is the live live wire where 230 volt is coming neutral it it is it has no power okay it's uh, it has no power but it is used as you know for closing the circuit if this is phase and this should be neutral this is phase this should be neutral and this is where your appliances are getting power so there should be a closing circuit so neutral is what it is closing your circuit and earth earth means what whenever you are having a equipment 
let say this is your electrical equipment let say this is your iron okay this is your iron and this is your equipment so it is getting a power 230 volt okay so whenever there is a fault in your equipment or an, any appliances that time the you will have the electricity at the surface or the body of your equipment so this is nothing but leakage current leakage current okay so whenever you are having electricity at any of your equipment body so that is nothing but leakage current so where this leakage current goes that goes into the earth any time if you see the electrical connection the earthing is always connected to the body of the equipment so whenever there is a current flowing through the body of any of your equipment this would directly go to the earth so whenever there is a earth current flowing through any of your equipment connected at your home that time that leakage current would be sensed and this electricity meter would blink and that's how you would come to know there is a fault in your home so this this is the usefulness of this led if this blinks that means there is something wrong going at your home you have to contact your electric person and check out entire connection of your home and make sure there is no fault in your any of your appliances okay this is the reverse led this is the reverse led now what is the meaning of reverse reverse means something that is going back okay some if this is forward and this is reverse then something is going back so whenever you are a, uh, you are having a connection at your home as i already so or so new so if this is your single phase ac power connection so this is your home and this is your electrical equipment so the power is flowing in this way okay so if at your home there is something wrong going or if you have a power source that is more capable to supply the electricity okay sometime it it happens then there is a reverse power okay reverse current is flowing that means instead of instead of conjup instead of consuming the electrical energy you are making it feedback to the grid so if you are feeding the electricity back to the grid so this is nothing but the reverse power flow and this would be indicated by this reverse led so in your energy meter if this light is blinking so this is directly indicating that there is something wrong in your home and there is a power reversal so usually this doesn't happen but this may happen in any industry or whenever uh, you know you are connecting the solar power so that time this may happen that reverse power is going to the grid so in that case that may happen but generally in most of the cases this won't blink or this won't happen okay now coming back to the main led that is calculating okay calculating calculating led what is the meaning of this calculation so here you are having this calculating led and this led is having some readings okay now how readings are decided so i don't know whether you are able to see this or not but this is written as 3200 impression per kilowatt hour and i i have i think i have already covered in one of my previous video that how you can calculate your electricity bill so in that i have i have already explained you how this kilowatt hour works or what is the meaning of this kilowatt hour this is nothing but one unit okay this is nothing but one unit for the consumption of one unit this electricity meter would blink 3200 times okay so if you want to calculate at your home because you cannot stay for one hour just staring at your electricity meter and calculating okay so how you can calculate 
in 60 minutes if you divide this then you would come to know that okay just let's make it simple so 3200 divided by 2 that means it is 1600, uh, 1600 per 30 minutes okay and 800 per 15 minutes so simply you would come to know like like this way if you go then you would come to know that there would be some you know calculation there would be some data or there would be some number which would be going to tell you that in one minute how many times it can blink okay so that number you have to just keep in your mind and stay there for one minute and see how many times this uh, LED is blinking from that reading you can come to know that how many units your energy meter is going to consume per hour now let's say this LED is blinking you know now let's say this LED is blinking um, 100 times per minute let's take an example 100 times per minute so let's divide this by 3200 by 100 okay so that means in 32 minutes only this would give you one unit okay so this is nothing but telling you the power consumption at your home this is nothing but one unit that means power consumption at your home is going to be around two units per hour per two per hour yes per hour you know so this is you know the consumption this is how you can get the consumption of your home so this is very simple you just need to practice it and this would be you know very simple for you now let's uh, move to the some other you know information that is written on meter now let's start with this static energy meter static I don't know whether you have seen the old times uh, energy meter where there was a coil or there was a wheel you know every time if you see in meter so like here there is a wheel and this keeps on rotating okay so you know what happened uh, later on that people used to they used to do some you know uh, some something that can help them to uh, you know slow down the meter by putting you know something nearby because this wheel is rotating by the principle of uh, magnetism so people got the idea that why not to just uh, you know uh, slow down this or so many things happened so after that you know technology you know uh, involved and nowadays digital meters are installed this is also a very basic meter nowadays you don't see this kind of meters first but the things I'm telling you right now is uh, very much similar or very much common in every meter so nowadays you don't see those kind of wheel types of meter but yes this is uh, something that uh, you know uh, will help you to understand what is the you know these uh, things are installed at meter so this is one uh, I mean example uh, so we were on static okay what is the meaning of static static means something that is not moving not moving okay okay sorry something that is not moving not moving okay static means something that is not moving and non-static that means something is moving so this meter is static that means this is having a electronic this is uh, an electronic meter and this is there is no part installed in meter that is moving so that is that is why it is written this is static meter so in old times uh, there was a meter in that wheel was installed and it it kept on rotating for making the units for making the kilowatt hour consumption or for the reading of the meter okay now let's move on to the next now this is the connection diagram so if you are new at meter so just to indicate you that how to I mean you know do the connections of the meter this is shown these are two are to be sorted or this may differ from meter to meter there are four terminals out of this there is a line terminal there is a where the neutral 
is to be connected so everything is shown in this connection diagram so this is a basic diagram and this differs uh, differs meter to meter and this will show you how you do the connections okay what is this isi mark isi mark that is indian standard mark where some is standard is written and one is cml that is written so this is the license to which which is issued to the meter and i is mark that is is the indian standard number that you know that is written on this meter and uh, these are the readings obviously this is not uh, i think no need to explain all these this i think this is self understood self explanatory okay so that's all this is 5 to 20 ampere meter that means uh, the maximum current that can be flown to the meter that is 20 ampere okay so uh, more than 20 ampere so that is not i mean this meter is not able to uh you know measure the current more than 20 ampere so this is all friend i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let's uh, move on and i would make uh, more videos like this so i hope this is understood and well explained so thank you so much for watching me and if you like this video then hit the like button and subscribe button to subscribe thank you so much let's meet again